Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create eye-catching pan and zoom effects on your images using video in Canva. Whether you want to add some dynamic movement to a slideshow or just want your images to feel a little more alive by the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to make your visuals pop without needing fancy video editing software. Let's dive right in. First things first, head over to Canva and log into your account. If you haven't used Canva before, don't worry, everything we're doing today works perfectly on their free plan. Once you're in, click the Create button near the top right. This is where you start any new project. For today's effect, we'll be using the presentation format. It's nice and versatile, gives us plenty of workspace, and works great for video exports. Now I want you to navigate over to the Elements tab on the left-hand panel. Here you can select a background for your project. You can use one of Canva's built-in backgrounds, upload your own photo, or even try a pattern or gradient, whatever matches your vision. Let's pretend you're working with a beautiful landscape photo. This will really let your pan and zoom skills shine. With your background selected, you'll need to duplicate it. This is a crucial step. Think of it like layering tracing paper in an art project. By duplicating, we can manipulate one version while keeping the other unchanged. Now take the duplicate and make it smaller on your canvas. This smaller version is going to serve as the start or end point for your zoom effect. Here's a little trick. Set the transparency of this smaller image to zero and send it to the back. Why do we do that? Setting the transparency to zero means it won't show up in the final video, but by keeping it in the design, it helps anchor where we want the animation to move from or to. It's kind of like leaving invisible breadcrumbs for Canva's animation tool to follow. Now we want to combine everything together. Hit Ctrl plus it to select all your elements on the slide and then group them together. This is important. It makes everything move as one unit, which is key for smooth panning and zooming. Next, duplicate the entire page you just created. On the new page, use Control and your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom out or you can simply shrink the group manually. This is where you'll start seeing your zoom effect come to life. Try enlarging just a part of the picture, maybe zero in on that mountain peak or city skyline. After you make your adjustment, duplicate the page again. Now let's pan to another area of the image, maybe a different corner or shift the focus to another detail you want viewers to notice. Don't be afraid to add as many of these focus pan and zoom points as you like. Each duplicated page is a new movement or zoom stop in your final animation. When you're satisfied, go ahead and hit play. Watch how the animation moves between the frames you created. If things don't look quite right at first, don't worry, this is totally normal. Sometimes you'll need to tweak the size, position, or the order of your layers to get it just right. Think of it like adjusting the camera lens until your shot feels perfect. And that's it, you've just mastered the pan and zoom effect in Canva. If this helped you, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I love hearing what you're working on and I'm happy to help out. Don't forget to subscribe for more easy creative tutorials just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.